So, they're unloading some buffalo right across from my house. Apparently, I'm going to live with buffalo across the road. Anyway, cool. Hey guys, so I was shooting a lever gun the other day and uh, I got another, this one here has a 20 inch barrel. I've got another one just like this, it's never been fired and it's, it's an older gun, uh, and it has 24 inch barrel. And I measured them out and to the 16th of an inch, exactly four inches longer. Uh, I've always liked a little longer barrel, you know, for hunting and stuff, but for quick shooting too, the shorter one's kind of neat. Have you ever wondered what the difference in horsepower is in the different rounds? And this is a 45 Colt. So what horsepower more do you think that gives you that extra four inches? Well, we can check it. The only thing we can really check with it that I have is velocity. So let's try a couple of different loads and uh, and check them out on the crony and see what that extra four inches does. Maybe it's just carrying a little extra weight for your weight loss program. You have a little extra weight you're packing around. Maybe it does give you something. Let's find out. So stick with me. Grab a cup of coffee because this is going to get interesting. Okay, so the two rifles, they're both Marlins, uh, 1894 Cowboys. Um, the one in front is... Uh, that's been my cowboy action gun for, I don't know, several years now. And it's all beat up a little. The one in the back is a uh, the same rifle, except it has a 24-inch uh, barrel. It's four inches longer. And so, I mean, we're not talking about a lot of weight, but we're talking a little bit extra weight out there. Not to mention the, uh, the longer gun will get you two more rounds so so instead of holding 10 like the short version the 20 inch the 24 inch I believe holds 12 rounds so you get a couple extra rounds um, and uh, and I'm not trying to to um, get you fired up about a long barrel or a short barrel or get you against a long barrel or a short barrel I'm just wondering what that four inches does for you other than give you two rounds and a little more weight to carry around out in the woods. So let's try on the chronograph. Um, I have, we're going to try several different things. I have some of my cowboy loads, which these are five grains of tight group, five or five and a half grains of tight group find out how fast they're going. I also have some black powder rounds in this box. We're going to do those first because then these other ones will clean it out. And uh, then I have some factory loaded lead bullets here. And then we got our favorite little 300 grain core bonds. And we'll see if it makes a difference. So in, a, in a rifle cartridge type rifle. You got to remember these are rifles. But these are pistol cartridges. Okay. In a rifle, I always like building my longer range guns, like my 308, for instance, um, 308 Winchester. I always, unless somebody wants a shorter barrel on it, or I have a reason to put a shorter barrel on it, I like putting 26 inch barrels on them. They're a little bit heavier, but my 308, I, I get almost 30 odd six velocities out of them. Um, because I, I load my own rounds with a slow burning powder. I have the extra long barrel. So it gives me, you know, more velocity um, the way I load them. So in that, it's, you know, in that respect, we know that I think it's the formula is like every inch is 50 feet a second or 100 feet a second more that you get in a rifle. 
because a lot of times when you're shooting those rifles, a lot of unburned or a lot of burned powder is burning after it leaves the barrel. You want to try to gauge it to where that powder is pretty much burnt by the time it leaves the barrel to get your most efficiency out of the powder. Um, I believe most of these, uh, the powder is probably going to be burnt. So I'm not expecting a big difference, but let's check it out and see. First one I'm going to shoot is uh, is uh, black powder, and they're 250 grain bullets, and I'm not real sure how fast they're going anyway. We're going to find out, and we're going to shoot them out of each rifle. So we'll start with the short rifle, black powder round. So the first one is going to be a black powder load. Um, these are 250 grain, I believe, and I cast them myself. So we're going to run them through the crony and, uh, and shoot at that metal target there. So let's see. Let's see what kind of numbers we can get. Okay, it says it's ready. That was 11.79. I got two of them in here. Let's see how close they are, one right after another. 11.65. So 11.79 and 11.65. Let's get the long rifle and see what we get. So here's the long rifle with the 24 inch barrel. And I gotta tell you, I, I've thought um, of not shooting this. This rifle is an older rifle and I, I got it in a trade and so it's never been fired. And so it was in the box and all that. But then again, the hell good is it if you don't shoot it? So anyway, we're gonna start it off with some black powder and, uh, and um, let's see what it does. So. 1165 was the last one. Let's see what this does. Ah, 1207. Twelve eleven. So 1165, 1211. So 65 is what? 35 feet a second and 11 so 40 45 feet a second that may be worth it it may not be worth it those are black powder loads um, let's try some of the cowboy loads and see how that works we'll try first we'll try my cowboy loads which are very light because I use them both in the rifle and the pistol and they're kind of light so I get a little less recoil out of the 45 and allows me to get back on target with the pistol and in the rifle, heck, you hardly feel them. Let's try those next. I'm trying to get this done. This wind's starting to kick up, and if it gets kind of aggravating, I apologize. But all right, this is my cowboy load, and uh, let's see what it does. Very light load. Nine twenty-nine. I would have thought it was a little lighter than that, but that's 929 out of a rifle. So, let's try the long gun. All right, so 929. Let's see what four inches gives you. 962, 50 feet a second. Would we say 929, 962, so 30, ah, oh, not 50, but more like about 30 feet a second difference. Okay, so 30 feet a second. Let's try some factory load um, cowboy bullets. I don't know what they're going. Matter of fact, I don't believe I, these are some somebody gave me, I don't even think I ever shot them, so let's give them a try next. Seventeen. So these are the only difference is these are 250 grain and mine are 200 grain. So they're going a little slower, so that would probably be why. 
Okay, so 917, let's see how it, whoops, put that in there. Let's see how it compares with the long gun, the longer gun. So, all right. Let's try her again. 917 was the last. 946. Same, same thing. Right in that 30 feet per second difference. So, cool. Now let's try a little hotter loads. So we've shot these Corbon hollow points. They're 300 grain hollow point bullets. We shot them before. We shot them into some uh, gelatin material. See how they expanded. And I don't remember what we said the velocity was. So let's find out again. Okay, it's a core barn, core bond 300 grain bullet. Let's see what kind of velocity we got. Well, that's stout, 1612. So out of this short barrel, that thing's running 1612. That's a stout 300 grain bullet, okay? And it felt a little stouter. Let's try the long barrel. So I think we, I remember us saying these core bonds are, core bonds are pretty stout. Um, 1612 feet a second with a 300 grain hollow point bullet is definitely, in my book, a hundred yard, maybe 150 yard deer hunting size animal load. Um, so that's that's a pretty good load, and that's out of that 20 inch barrel. Um, the 45, the 45 cold is no slouch. Okay, it isn't a pussy load. What happens is most people manufacture it at low velocity and low pressure because they have no idea what you're going to stick it in. You might stick it in an ancient single action army and blow the cylinder right off of it. You might stick it in a new single action army or a replica that's built with the same strength and blow the side out of the cylinder. So they tend to be kind of lighter loads. But there are companies like Corbon and Buffalo Bore that make all the, the potential you can get out of a 45 Colt. And these Corbons are these Corbons are great. Anyway, so we had 1612 out of the 20 inch barrel. Let us see what the four inches does for us. Sixteen ninety four. So twelve ninety four two. That's eight. That's eighty eighty feet a second or so. So almost seventeen hundred feet a second. So when you start shooting the higher velocity bullets, okay. I mean seventy feet a second for four inches. There's no slouch. Talking 1700 total, almost 1700 feet a second uh, with them core barn bullets out of this longer. I think for hunting this longer barrel, um, the type of load you're going to put in for hunting this longer barrel will give you something. So, anyway, I'm going to uh, let me get some of this stuff gathered up and and shoot just a little bit more. Anyway, it's like it's going to get windy on me. Um, I know I promised you it's some long range rifle stuff, and I guarantee that's coming up. But when I put my guns away the other day after doing that, and I thought, you know, you know, first I looked at it and I wanted to shoot that long barreled one anyway. Then I wondered, what does that long barrel really get me? And if you add the two extra rounds for a hunting gun, okay. If you add the two extra rounds and you're talking about using Corbon or one of the higher velocity, higher pressure rounds in 45 Colt, the long barrel, okay? Um, any of the lower things, you know, 30 feet a second. I mean, 
Yeah, if you add in the two extra rounds, if that's what you need. For cowboy shooting, you don't need the long barrel. And the, the shorter barrel might be a little faster. Sometimes in cowboy shooting, you know, you're shooting around in and around buildings and stuff or, or um, stages that have um, walls and things like that set up. The shorter barrel might do you some good. The longer barrel isn't going to do you any good velocity. Well, you don't need any of that. So it's just up to you. I wouldn't trade in what you had, whether you had one or the other, because I wouldn't be afraid to take this little short barrel deer hunting with those Corbon, Corbon bullets. Why do they got to come up with a name that's hard to say over and over again? Anyway, that's it for this time. I'm going to break out the hunting guns. We're going to start working with them. Um, thanks for stopping for a cup of coffee. I appreciate it. Always like your company. You guys have a great day. Thanks for checking in. Bye-bye.